So today I'm talking about a P0344 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0344 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor, a circuit intermittent bank one or single sensor. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a camshaft position sensor that's just monitoring the camshaft as it spins. And it's reporting this information back to the computer, which is using it for timing information. But when you get a P0344 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with the sensor or inside the wiring going to the sensor, there's some kind of issue going on there. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks on the engine. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google the number one cylinder in your engine, since there is differences, that's going to be the bank one side of the engine. And the opposite of that would be bank two. If you just have a four cylinder engine, then it wouldn't matter because you only have one bank. And one thing to note about these camshaft position sensors is that sometimes when they're replaced, they need what's called a relearn procedure. Not all the time. Sometimes you could just replace them and the vehicle's ready to go. But sometimes you could replace them and the vehicle won't start or it starts and it runs really badly or something like that. So if you do replace this sensor and the engine's not running correctly, it may need what's called a camshaft position sensor relearn procedure. And if it does need a relearn procedure, there's some different ways to go about doing it. Sometimes you just need to drive the vehicle around and the computer will automatically relearn. Sometimes there's specific driving steps to do for the computer to relearn. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, sometimes they have an option inside there that'll command the computer to relearn. Although these types of scan tools are the more expensive ones. But if you do have a really good scan tool, you might have the option inside there to command the computer to do a relearn procedure. But like I said, sometimes you don't need a relearn procedure, while other times you do, it's really gonna vary. So it's a good idea to do a little bit of research on your particular vehicle, or keep in mind that sometimes if you swap out that sensor, sometimes you do need what's called a relearn procedure. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0344 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that bank one sensor A camshaft position sensor has just failed. It's just gone bad. It just needs to be replaced. You can't test this sensor if you want to. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. Sensor A is going to be the intake sensor. Many vehicles are going to have multiple camshaft position sensors. They're going to have one for the intake and one for the exhaust. So although sometimes there could be just one, quite often there's two on each bank of the engine. And if there is two on each bank of the engine, Sensor A is going to be the intake sensor, and sensor B would be the exhaust sensor, and sensor A is going to be the one to go and check. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad camshaft position sensor. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. Basically, if there's any kind of problem in the wiring, like an open or a short, a bad connection, something like this, then that's going to cause issues. There could be two wire sensors or three wire sensors or even four wire sensors. So you will need to get a wiring diagram for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on inside the wiring and which wires are doing what. These three wire ones are fairly common. And basically what's going on with these is that you're gonna have a ground wire. And then when you put the key to the on position, you're gonna get power to that sensor. And every single time a piece of metal is directly in front of that sensor, it's gonna send a signal back to the computer. And so every single time one of the teeth on the camshaft is directly in front of that sensor, it's gonna send a signal back to the computer, which, which is gonna use that information to track that camshaft as it spins. And so that's a basic overview of what's going on with the wiring. Like I said, be sure to get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on inside the wires. Also keep in mind that this is going to be on a fuse. So you can do some research and figure out which fuse it's on and what's going on with that. But just keep in mind that this can be on a fuse. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with one of the timing components. And this isn't too common with the P0344 code. Usually when you get this code, you're going to have either like a bad camshaft position sensor, a blowing fuse, or some kind of issue inside the wiring. But just keep in mind that bad timing components, like a belt or timing chain that slipped, or a bad tensioner that's not holding everything tight, and things along these lines can throw these sensors off. But like I said, this is fairly rare with the P0344 code. Usually if something's gone wrong inside the timing with like a timing belt or timing chain or something like that, you're going to be getting other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of problem with one of the timing components. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0344 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.